So if your doctor says you have hypothyroidism, this can explain why you might kind of feel like crap, you might be experiencing crazy weight gain, and your hair might be falling out in clumps. Or maybe you're scared to brush your hair for fear of pulling more out. But how do you know if Hashimoto's, the autoimmune form of hypothyroidism, is causing your hypothyroidism? Well, good thing you asked. So Hashimoto's is an autoimmune disease, meaning the immune system is attacking and destroying the thyroid gland responsible for more than 90% of hypothyroid cases. Chances are pretty strong it's the cause of your low thyroid function too. So stay tuned to find out if your low thyroid is due to Hashimoto's or some other reason, such as toxins, adrenal fatigue, or possibly just some unlucky reason. Unfortunately, sometimes it does just happen. You know the saying, So if your doctor doesn't want to screen for Hashimoto's, or if you'd like to be sure, here are some tips to help you figure out if you have Hashimoto's hypothyroidism. Now, one of the first questions that most people tend to ask is, well, why doesn't my doctor want to know if I have Hashimoto's? And the answer is pretty simple, my friend, because they don't care. Okay, it's not really that they don't care, and it's not necessarily that they don't really care or care about you or whatever. It's that they, from a treatment point of view, they don't care because it's not going to change the treatment that they give you. It's not going to change how they dose your medication, if you get any, nor will it change, most likely, what medication they give you. So kind of from that perspective, it kind of makes sense. So I will admit that I sometimes tell my own patients the same thing, but in a much nicer way. They may ask about a certain test, and I might tell them that for right now, I don't care about that test because it's not going to change treatment at this point. But from a Hashimoto's perspective, you should absolutely care because there are a ton of things that you can do to help. But that's another topic. Well, maybe not another topic, but a different subject of this topic. So back on track. So have you ever felt worse despite taking your thyroid medication? Well, one of the most common signs of Hashimoto's is you still have symptoms despite taking your thyroid medications. Or maybe you take, feel like taking your medications doesn't make any difference at all. In fact, if your doctor prescribes ever increasing dosages of your thyroid medication as it deteriorates, you may even notice no difference if you forget to take your medications. So why don't thyroid meds help in many cases of Hashimoto's? Well, it's because the immune system continues to attack and destroy the thyroid gland even though the meds that you're taking might make your TSH levels look normal. So maybe you swing back and forth between low, th low thyroid and high thyroid symptoms. This swinging back and forth between under and overactive thyroid, thyroid function is a common side of Hashimoto's. So this is because a flare-up that damages thyroid tissue causes excess thyroid hormone to spill into the bloodstream. You may be misdiagnosed with anxiety or even bipolar disorder, or God knows what other condition. Or maybe even worse, they tell you it's all in your head. So if you run blood tests during these surges and crashes, you will see a TSH also peaks and drops. TSH may even test it as normal for short periods as it moves between these swings. This can lead to a misdiagnosis if you drew your blood during that time. Autoimmune diseases such as Hashimoto's are often a result of an imbalanced immune system. It's very common for people with one autoimmune disease to develop more. This is because the imbalanced system becomes overly sensitive and loses tolerance to new tissues in the body. I tell this to all of my patients. An autoimmune disease is not a disease of the system or organ that it affects. It's a disease of the immune system that happens to affect that organ or tissue and it can, and most likely will, spread. Pernicious anemia, an autoimmune disease that causes B12 deficiency, celiac disease, or gluten intolerance are all commonly linked to Hashimoto's. If you think you have Hashimoto's, see if any of these symptoms apply to you. An underactive thyroid symptoms are feeling tired or sluggish. Feeling cold, cold hands or feet, all over, Re you require excessive amounts of sleep to function well, you've had weight gain despite adhering to a low calorie diet, uh, you gain weight easily, difficult or infrequent bowel movements, 
depression, lack of motivation, morning headaches that wear off as the day progresses, outer third of eyebrows thin, and thinning of your scare, uh, hair on your scalp and face. You might also develop dryness of the skin or scalp and mental sluggishness. So all around feeling pretty crappy. Symptoms of an overactive thyroid include heart palpitations, inward trembling, uh, trembling, increased pulse rate, even at rest, feeling nervous and emotional, insomnia, night sweats, difficulty gaining weight. So how do you confirm a diagnosis of Hashimoto's? Symptoms are important, but a blood test provides the proof you may need to convince your doctors or family members. So look at these markers. And these are the telltale blood markers for thyroid autoimmunity. The first is TPOs, thyroid peroxidase antibodies. In most cases of Hashimoto's, the immune system attacks TPO, an enzyme that triggers thyroid hormone production. Another one is thyroglobulin antibodies, or otherwise known as TGB. You should also test for antibodies of TGB, which uses the thyroid to produce thyroid hormones. Another common one that most doctors don't tend to test for is thyroid stimulating hormone antibodies, TSH-AB. This test can identify Graves' disease, hyperthyroidism, although sometimes TSH antibodies can be elevated in Hashimoto's. On lab tests, this marker is often labeled thyroid stimulating immunoglo immunoglobulin, TSI. Now, if your autoimmune thyroid condition is advanced, you have multiple autoimmune diseases, and or you react to bioidentical thyroid meds, but not synthetic, you may also have antibodies to T4 and T3. So when your test comes back negative, despite massive symptoms, don't despair, because the immune system and the inflammation wax and wane, and you may have a blood draw during a time the immune system was not or less attacking the thyroid gland. However, if your test is positive, this confirms Hashimoto's hypothyroidism and that the immune system could and or should be a target for therapy. So knowledge is power, and you just got a little bit more powerful. Don't forget a thyroid test is not just TSH. There are generally 10 thyroid numbers I run, sometimes 11. Managing Hashimoto's is about managing an autoimmune disease and not the thyroid. A properly trained and fun certified functional medicine practitioner should be able to help. Psst. FYI, we also do online consultations. So I'm Dr. Craig Mortensen. Be healthy, be happy. So being that we're on the subject of thyroid function, perfect time to bring up thyroid balance. So this is our first product. Well, not our first product. It's our first product that I'm talking about um, to specifically help support thyroid balance and thyroid function. So check it out. It's got everything you need. I'll put a link in the description. And I'll do another blog specifically all on the ingredients on this. There's a bunch. You can check it out in the description. And oops, see you next time.